Have you been wanting to create digital curriculum for your students or to sell digital curriculum to other educators? Well, this one website lets you do both of those options. So let's check it out in today's video. Hey there, I'm Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. Today we're talking about the website called Canopy or Canopy Education. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes so you can see what a course looks like or curriculum looks like on this website and then as well of how to create it yourself in case you want to see the dashboard that the educator would use to create these courses or these units for your students or for the students of other educators. Let's take a look. So the first website I recommend you go to is actually canopyeducation.com because this one will show you what Canopy is all about, how it can be used, the features of it, etc. So always start here, I recommend. And then once you are in this page, there's the features, which tells you more about what you can expect to find on Canopy. So they do have elements connected to instruction, learning, progress tracking, and teacher collaboration. So this is the instruction one, but progress tracking is a great element of Canopy as well. And if you're someone who co-teaches, then teacher collaboration would be something you need to consider looking at in more detail. The pricing is pretty great. You can get an account for free. And so if you're someone who just wants to create curriculum to sell to other educators, then you don't really have to keep in mind the number of students because this is only the number of students who you use yourself, where you create a curriculum and you assign it to your students. Then there is the requirement that once you reach 120 students, if you have any more, you have to pay for a pro plan. But let's say educators buy a curriculum and they have 300 students total. You're not paying more because of their students. It's only if it's your own students that you have to consider that requirement for the various plans. So on the basic free plan, you can create up to three courses up to 25 published lessons each. So there's three courses here that you can create and sell um, free of charge for Canopy. So just to show you, here is a preview of one of the units I've created on Canopy. And so this one's about the giving tree. So you have a little image there for your course or for your unit. And there's a preview information about what the instructor will find in this unit. And then down here, there's the preview elements. So I have five lessons in here. And so what I've done is the first two lessons are unlocked. So any educator can come here and preview both of those lessons free of charge. But if they want to get lessons two, three, or the conclusion, then they have to pay for it individually or pay for the whole unit, which is right here if they want to purchase it. And you can decide how much your units or courses cost as well as how much each lesson costs. And if you have a course with multiple units, how much each unit costs. So you can decide the course price, the unit price, and the lesson price that you create. Okay. These have two videos on how it works as far as selling or copying curriculum and as far as how students join. Students join basically using a course code. So that's one preview here. And again, you can kind of click here and see exactly what you'd find. So there's text, there's images, there's links and embedded videos. If you go on down, you'll see a PDF where students actually annotate it. So they have to highlight or write in the margins and they submit it for you to see what they've annotated. Down here is a video I created and embedded that has questions attached to it, similar to Edpuzzle. Keep on going and here's a question that has a short answer. And then lesson one as well, very similar. Though in this case, along with the text and images and PDFs, there's also discussion questions as well. So that's just one preview of a unit, but here let's go behind the scenes. So this is the dashboard and here you have all of the courses that you're creating. So technically it's a course, but I only made one unit for it. So when I share it to sell, I'm going over here on the right and saying add it to Canopy. And that's where you add an image for it. Say what's your primary audience, say what subject it's in, add a description, and then decide what community communities it goes into. So the global one will be accessible to any educator on here. And then the next step is to create the price. So if we go next here, you can say add a price or keep it free. Let's say I'm going to add a price. Then you decide how much is a unit worth? How much is a lesson worth? If you're sharing a course, then it's how much is the course, then the unit and then the lessons. And then you share it. 
In this case, I'm not going to do that. So if you open it up here, you'll see all five of my lessons. And what you can do is you can preview them to see how it looks um, for your student. But let's say you're using it for your own students. You can publish lessons when you want. So maybe this is a week by week situation. And so you can say, OK, week one, I'm going to publish this one. And I'm going to say, OK, am I doing is it assigned? Is there a due date? I can put in the information. If there's not, then N.A. You can schedule it to go out at a certain time or you can just say publish now and it goes out immediately. So you can decide when to publish your lessons if you're teaching them yourself. Now inside a lesson, you'll see all the elements that I've created for this particular unit. And if you go down here, you can add more. You can click and drag and move things around as needed when you're organizing your lessons, but you cannot drag in between lessons. So you can't grab this one and move it to another lesson. It only can stay in the one that it's in. So here's what you can create. You can add text and this has headings and subheadings, paragraphs, etc. You can add PDFs, and in case of a PDF, it can be a read-only, or you can say, you know, I want them to edit and annotate it, and it's worth a certain amount of points depending on how well they do so. You can ask a question, and what's great here, it's not just short answer. You can have multiple select, multiple choice, polls, but you can also do video. Hey, you know, create a video answering this question, or have an audio response to this question. And in this case, there will literally be like a microphone icon that they click, they record their answer, click again, and they submit it. So definitely a lot of options here. And again, how many points is each question or element worth? Then you have the Canva design, which integrates directly into it. So you could have them create an infographic, a resume, a newsletter, whatever the case may be. So you have some options here of what you can ask them to create. You can embed things from your Google Drive. You can add images and you can have an image by itself or an image with a description next to it, whatever you prefer. Videos can be ones that you create that you embed or ones that you get from YouTube or another website. And again, you can embed questions into it as well as I showed in that preview. Discussion on here, you can say how many replies are required you know, for your students to use, you know, for your class, their classmates. So it's not just they post, but then you reply to three in this case, or at least a number, or maybe none if you don't want to require replies. And the upload allows you to have students upload different types of documents or images, uh, movies, audio, so they can just upload that depending on what you want them to do. And if you use SCORM, you can add a SCORM package to your lesson as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these so they're not appearing here. But something to keep in mind as well is that after you embed these, if you want to, you can add an audio element to the lesson element. So if you click here, you can record yourself either just the, the transcription, reading aloud what you've written, or it can be additional information that you want to share in audio form. So when you're looking at, in the preview, what your students see, if we scroll down here, this one has audio attached to it. So they click that, they'll hear what that audio addition is. So that's kind of in a nutshell, all the elements that you could add into a lesson. And so you just build as you go along. And then once it's ready to go, you go ahead and share it on Canopy for again, your students or for selling to other educators. Again, you can just, add it for free. You don't have to sell it at all if you just want to share it with the world. That is an option when you're putting a price, you can just say free of charge, all right? And so on the left here, again, all of your courses will appear here. You could start a new course. You see the curriculum, this is where the tab we're at currently. If you do have your own students, then you'll see the progress and the grade book as well. So if you asked a question, you can see, well, who's answered the question so far? Who's done the Canva activity? Who's replied? the amount of times they're required to. And then you have the grade book element as well. So if you have an assignment with points, you can have that only showing and you grade it as you need to via points or via percentage. And then down here, the canopy element for teachers, you can create a community. So maybe you teach social sciences and so you wanna create a community for social science teachers, or you can find communities if you want to find instead. The global one has all of the courses or lessons or units. Um, this one is one that I use as an instructional designer for Canopy. 
messages. You can get private messages for your courses and you can answer them here as well. So to begin, I recommend going to canopyeducation.com and seeing if it might be for you. If you have any questions about Canopy, you can let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and find value in it, and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any future videos. If you're someone who wants to talk one-on-one -on -one with me about your own teaching situation, I have a link below to my creative confidence call that we could talk one-on-one. -on -one. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.